My name is Skip Rizzo. I'm a clinical psychologist at the Institute for Creative Technologies, and I direct the Medical Virtual Reality Research Group. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a clinical diagnosis that comprises of symptoms of emotional flashbacks, intrusions, nightmares. Sometimes we see sort of a hypervigilance, and this may reflect a nervous system that was tuned in a survival fashion to get through a combat environment, but has had a problem detuning back to the needs for a civilian lifestyle. The traditional form of exposure therapy for treating PTSD typically involves a patient in imagination recounting their trauma experiences and narrating it as if they're going through it. This is what's called the clinician's interface and essentially it's all the controls that a clinician needs to be able to change the scene and customize it more to the needs of the user. When we deliver virtual reality exposure therapy, the first few sessions are getting to know the patient, understanding the patient, developing a therapeutic alliance. Around the fourth session, you start to deliver the exposure content based on what you learned from the patient in the first three sessions. So that can go from session four to session 10, um, but it all is based on the needs of the patient. Thus far, the beginning clinical research has been quite positive. There's one study that showed 16 of 20 individuals that went through and completed treatment no longer met PTSD criteria. It's important to note that this is not some kind of a magical treatment. Virtual reality doesn't just fix people. It's a tool simply to deliver what has already been shown to work. So what we're trying to do is to make the treatment more available, more accessible, and to make it more acceptable so that people that have grown up digital may be more attracted to this form of treatment. I see the future of these types of interactive, immersive technologies being used in clinical care being very promising, not just for PTSD, but in the areas of stroke rehabilitation or assessing cognitive function in people with traumatic brain injuries, working with children with autism. Uh, there's a, a wide spectrum of clinical applications where VR makes a heck of a lot of sense uh, in the delivery of various forms of treatment.